What's up guys, Michael Kamalu here, AKA Dr. Gaines. And in this video, we're gonna go over one of the single best overall shoulder exercises that exists. I call it the Kamalu shoulder combo. And it's one of the best because it combines power moves for all three deltoid heads into a single fluid motion. We're talking the posterior deltoid, the lateral deltoid, and the anterior deltoid all in one. And that's no simple feat because for one, the anterior deltoid and posterior deltoid do completely opposite motions. The anterior deltoid flexes the arm forwards while the posterior deltoid extends and hyperextends it backwards. The anterior deltoid does horizontal adduction while posterior does horizontal abduction. The anterior deltoid does internal rotation, posterior does external rotation. You get the point. But the Kamala shoulder combo will nail them both together with the lateral deltoid in a single exercise. First, I'll demonstrate the exercise for you, and then we will dive into the anatomy and biomechanics behind the exercise to understand why it's so effective at hitting all three deltoid heads. And then I'm going to finish by giving you a sneak peek of the Maximum Gain Series Total Shoulder Program. The Kamalu shoulder combo that we're going to go over today is just one of over 300 different exercises and modules specifically for building the deltoids that is included in my Masculine Gaze Series shoulder program, including dozens of techniques that I developed myself. And as of today, it is officially out of beta testing and available for everyone. Then at the end of that preview, I will reveal some discount codes for the program as a bonus for watching through to the end of the video that you can take advantage of. But for now, let's hit the gym. In this one, we're gonna combine our posterior deltoid, middle deltoid, and anterior deltoid power moves all into one exercise. Here's how we're gonna do it. The power move for the posterior deltoid is the side hug. And now, conveniently, that brings the weight right to where you need it for the middle deltoid shrug, which conveniently brings the weight right to where you need it for the anterior deltoid press with the open palm thumb facing out. So we're gonna combine all those movements into one and have the best shoulder workout you've ever done in a single exercise. Here's how it looks. Posterior, middle, anterior. I'll be going over these form tips and why they're so important in depth during the anatomy section later in the video. So for now, I'll just tell you what they are. First, you should be leaning forward during the posterior deltoid section, and as you bring the weight up, you want to supinate your forearm and externally rotate your shoulder. You know you're doing it right if your palms are mostly facing forward at the top of the motion and your elbows are behind you, not flared out to your sides. During the lateral deltoid section, you should be holding the dumbbells with a neutral grip so that the ends are pointing up and down. And most importantly, throughout the shrug motion, your hands should be level with your elbows, not trailing down below them like most people do. Finally, during the anterior deltoid section, your elbows should be out in front of you, not flared out to the sides. Your forearms should be supinated so that your palms are facing yourself with your thumbs pointing out, and you should be leaning backwards as you press the weight up. If you have any back pain or injury, then you can perform the Kamalo shoulder combo using an incline bench. It will help you retain your balance when you lean forward and will support your back when you lean backwards. All right, now let's take a look at the anatomy to understand the why behind the workout, which is absolutely essential if you're gonna do this technique right. And by the way, if you liked that technique or if at any time throughout this video, you think the content I'm providing is valuable, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button, leaving me a comment below so that the YouTube algorithm knows this video is worth recommending. The first part of the Kamalu shoulder combo targets the posterior deltoid. Also called the rear deltoid, it's located on the back of your shoulder and originates from the back of the scapula along what's called the spine and then travels down to insert on the humerus, what's called the deltoid tuberosity there. Now because the origination point is located behind or posterior to its insertion point, 
when it contracts, it's going to pull back on that arm. Now, when the arm is extended out in front of you and you pull it back, that pulling back to your side is actually called extension of the shoulder. A little counterintuitive because we talk about extending our arm forward, but that's actually called flexion of the shoulder and then bringing it back is extension. And then when you move from this point of where it's next to your side and extend it further back behind your body, that is called hyperextension of the shoulder. And again, because the origination point is located posterior to the insertion point, you really have to hyperextend the arm in order to get full contraction of those posterior deltoid muscle fibers. But that's not all because the origination point is also above or superior to its insertion point, it's also going to be pulling up on the upper arm, up on the humerus. So it's pulling simultaneously back and up, which is exactly what we do during the first part of the Kamalu shoulder combo. Notice that at the beginning of the motion, I'm actually leaning forward. Now, why is that? Well, it has to do with the 90 degree rule that I'm always talking about. If you were standing straight up, and you were to perform extension and hyperextension of the shoulder, there would be almost zero resistance against that motion if you are using free weights like we are here. Why is that? Because with free weights, the resistance is always gravity, which is always straight down. If you're not moving against gravity, then you are getting very minimal resistance. If you don't believe me, grab a dumbbell and then move it from here to here while keeping your body straight up. It, there's zero resistance there. You'll be able to do that all day, but bend yourself forward so that your upper body is horizontal and do that same motion. And it's a different story because then you're moving that weight directly against gravity. But remember the posterior deltoid doesn't just pull back, it pulls back and up. So we want the combination of those forces to be as close to being against gravity as possible. So by leaning over, when we are doing that back and up motion with our arm, the combination of back and up, which that force vector is gonna be somewhere in the middle of it, we want that to be directly against gravity. So if I were to lean him forward and draw that line, eventually that's going to be pointing straight up. Last thing to note at this part of the motion is that notice I am supinating my hand and forearm as I bring the weight up. That, and there's a couple of reasons for that, but one is that it helps you keep your elbow tucked behind your body where you want it to be. You don't want your elbow to flare out to the side. And that's what a lot of people naturally do if you're holding the weight with your palm facing down. It's really easy to get your elbow to flare out to the side. But if you rotate, you supinate your forearm, that naturally is going to make your elbow close into your body and that way you can keep it nice and tight to your body and you can get that hyperextension going directly behind yourself where you want it to be. Next is the lateral or middle deltoid. Located right in the middle of the shoulders, the origination points are along the edge or lateral edge of the scapula on what's called the acromion. That's that bony part on the very edge of your shoulder that you can feel. And then it travels down to insert down on the lateral side of the humerus. And so because the origination points and insertion points are lined up on the complete lateral side of your body, when it pulls, it's going to pull directly to your side. And it's going to pull out and up. And that motion we call abduction of the shoulder. That's why during the second portion of this combo motion, you have your arm positioned directly to the side of your body and you're abducting your arm. Now, there's a couple really important points to make here for this section of the combo exercise. First, pay very close attention to the form that I'm using here. The way that most people do these type of deltoid shrugs is they'll grab a bar of some sort and then perform a motion like this. If you are doing that, stop. The easiest and most common way to injure your shoulder in weightlifting is by combining abduction with internal rotation. I will go in depth into this 
principle and, and this exercise in a future video, but for now, just know that when you combine abduction with internal rotation, you are pinching and grinding the rotator cuff tendons under what's called the subacromial arch. And that is how you end up with tears and dozens of other impingement related injuries. Just don't do it. Also, if you do the deltoid shrugs that way, then with that internal rotation, it's actually no longer the lateral deltoid doing the majority of the work. When you're in that position, you're actually putting the posterior deltoid on top. And so it's the posterior deltoid contractions that are taking a significant amount of the load. You'll still hit the lateral deltoid, but a lot of the load will be taken by the posterior deltoid if you're internally rotated. The solution is what you see me doing here. First, use dumbbells instead of a bar. That way, you'll be able to grip the weight with a neutral grip that gives you significant freedom of motion instead of being locked into this internally rotated position. And second, you do not want your hands to trail down behind your elbows. It's really your hands being below your elbows that is causing that internal rotation. You want your hand and elbow to be level with each other throughout that abduction phase. And at the top, your hand, elbow, and shoulder should all be along the same plane. That will keep the subacromial space open and it will be more effective because you'll be keeping the lateral deltoid on the top of your shoulder facing most directly opposite the resistance and so it will be taking almost all of the load. Now, as I mentioned in the demo, that motion conveniently brings the weight right to where we need it to start targeting the anterior deltoid with an anterior press. The anterior or front delt sits on the front of the shoulder. Its origination points lie along the lateral third of the clavicle or what we call the collarbone and then travels down to insert on that location called the deltoid tuberosity on the humerus. So because the origination points are anterior or in front of the insertion and they are superior or above the insertion, it's going to pull forward and up on the humerus. Now, once again, we want to manipulate the 90 degree rule to make our exercise as effective and efficient as possible. Remember that with the posterior deltoid, extension and hyperextension don't do a whole lot of good unless they are angled to be against gravity. Well, the same principle applies with the anterior deltoid, except we want anterior flexion of the arm to be as directly against gravity as possible. And that is why at this section of the combo technique, you see me leaning back slightly. By leaning back, we make the force vector that comes from a combination of forward and up, which is what the anterior deltoid is doing, we place that vector more directly opposite gravity than if you were just standing straight up. Also, remember in the demo I told you at that section that you wanted to do the anterior press with your palms open and your thumbs pointing out. Why is that? Well, an easy way to think of this concept is that if you were to do anterior raises with your arms out in front of you and do them with your palm down, imagine you're grabbing a weight like this and doing anterior raises like this, which a lot of people do. Well, if your hand has your palm facing down, that means your forearm is pronated, which internally rotates your shoulder. And what that does is it recruits the lateral deltoid. You're putting the lateral deltoid on top of your shoulder and directly opposite resistance, so it will be taking a lot of load off of the anterior deltoid. If your palm is up and therefore your forearm is supinated, it naturally externally rotates your shoulder. Now, what's directly opposite resistance and what's taking that load is the anterior deltoid. So the same principle applies with the presses. By having our palm open and up, we get our forearm supinated and it externally rotates our shoulder so that as we press, it's the anterior deltoid that is taking the load just like we want it to. So now we understand how the Kamalu shoulder combo effectively targets all three deltoid heads. 
However, if you really want to maximize your shoulder gains, you're gonna to need to incorporate a lot more than a single exercise into your routines. And there's a lot more that goes into effective muscle building than just which exercise you're doing or even how you're doing them. Here's a sneak peek into the most comprehensive science-based shoulder training program on the planet. Introducing the Maximum Gain Series Total Shoulder Program. Developed by Michael Kamalu, a.k.a. Dr. Gaines, by applying top-tier medical and exercise science to a rigorous personal training and weightlifting regimen developed exclusively to strengthen and build all three deltoid heads as efficiently and effectively as physically possible while maintaining a properly balanced and healthy shoulder joint. Throughout the program are dozens of completely new exercises and techniques that Dr. Gaines himself has developed by applying scientific principles such as the 90 degree rule and region specific hypertrophy in order to provide unique benefits that you will find nowhere else. With the Maximum Gains Total Shoulder Program, you will not only be taught what to do, but also how and why each exercise works, empowering you to apply your knowledge throughout the rest of your life. The program includes eight weeks of professionally designed workouts complete with warm-ups, finishers, and cool-downs, including detailed instructions on the optimal amount of weight to use, the number of sets and reps, and which exercises to use as supersets, all based on the latest in exercise science. The workouts feature over 300 modules, each with its own in-depth video tutorial of Dr. Gaines demonstrating how to perform each exercise and giving important form tips, along with hundreds of additional modifications and techniques that can be used to pinpoint specific weaknesses or customize the level of difficulty to fit your own goals and capabilities. Not sure whether you have access to the right machines or equipment? No problem! The program takes that into account as well by providing alternative options for each exercise that requires equipment. For example, if you don't have access to a cable system, that each module that uses one will specify a free weight alternative. Or, if you don't have access to free weights, then you'll find a cable-based alternative so that everyone will be able to receive all the benefits of the program regardless of what equipment you have. And since you don't always have a computer with you, the program is available via a mobile app compatible with all devices so that you can review instructions and track your progress on the go or at the gym. The Maximum Gains Total Shoulder Program will be a complete game-changer in your fitness journey. And, unlike other professional online programs, Dr. Gaines is so confident in the unique value that this program will bring you that he offers a 100% money-back satisfaction guarantee, giving you the confidence you need to try out the program completely risk-free. So don't wait! Today is the day to start maximizing your gains and becoming the best version of yourself that you can be. All right, guys, I'll put the link to the shoulder program in the video description below. And to celebrate the launch of the shoulder program, I'm going to release three different tiers of discounts for the program. If you register within one week of this video being published, then you can use the code MAXSHOULDER30 to get 30% off of the program. After one week, that code will expire, but if you're watching this video and it's been longer than a week, you can still use the code Max shoulder 20 for 20% 20 off the program. And that code will remain active for one month following the release of this video. If you're watching this and it's been longer than a month since this video was released, then you can use the code Max shoulder 10 for 10% 10 off the program. And that code will remain active indefinitely so that it's available for everyone who watches this video. So the takeaway is don't wait. I offer a 100% money back satisfaction guarantee to everyone for all of my programs. So you have nothing to lose and maximum gains to achieve. If you have any content requests or feedback for me, I'd love to hear from you. I put the content request form in the video description. Make sure that you're subscribed and have those post notifications turned on since I've still just barely scratched the surface and you won't want to miss any of my future content. Mahalo my friends, until next time.